Hello everyone, it's the elite philosophical high level intellectual thinker El Maxo here slash Max and I did my dopamine detox, I finished it all up this week and I'm here to talk about it, what I learned, what I think I improved, what didn't, everything that happened. So let's get into it. So a week ago, I set out, I was going to set some rules for the week. I was going to reduce my dopamine and see how it affected me. I was going to reduce anything that was instantaneous pleasure, anything that would give me a quick dopamine release, stuff like social media, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, I don't even use TikTok, but all that type of stuff. I was cutting out all social media. The other one was I, was, I literally was not allowed to listen to music or podcasts, which is, <laughs> I've got a lot to talk about that part of it. So I literally put my AirPods away. I locked them in my drawer over there. Didn't use them for five days. Uh, what else was there? No junk food, nothing like that. No fast food. And I just cut off anything that would be a quick source of pleasure. And it was an interesting experience. I don't think... I went into it. A lot of people talk like, it'll change your brain chemistry and how your neuron transmitters will fucking... I don't think any of that's true, or at least it didn't happen to me. But when you cut off... There's, there's a lot of things to talk here, but the first one I'll say is when you just cut off any quick form of like dopamine, especially social media. I think social media is the best example of this. When I didn't have a... I couldn't just go to Twitter, YouTube, open up a video, instant stimulation. That was out of the picture. I, I just couldn't do that. And with that out the way, I think that actually had a really good effect on me. When you cut off all instant stimulation for the week, right? And I know this is my writing, especially. Um, when I write, uh, I'll get into a flow state. If you know what flow is, it's like when, when anything kind of just links and connects and everything's just working. Your creativity's there. Uh, I think it occurs at a point where you're like challenged enough to where it's like you have to be fully engaged, but it's not too hard as to like it stumped you, like in a task or something, right? So you're in this like nice, you're like, you're writing this little, little, little like, you're kind of writing the line between challenging but not too challenging. Your mind's fully switched on and you just write. It's beautiful. Great to be in a flow state. You should look into it. There's a lot of research about flow. So I'll get to a flow state of writing. But then it'll stop. I'll get to a part that needs more research or I'll just, I'll just won't be able to write as much and I'll hit a wall. And when I hit this wall, my go-to like reaction was always, oh, habitual, open new tab, get off Google Docs, Twitter, YouTube. It's like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I've, I've lost my flow, I've lost my flow instant alt tab, go to something else, and then like distract myself for a bit, then go back to writing. But with this, I'd hit the wall. I'd go to alt tab. I had an app install called Cold Turkey. So when I alt tabbed, it said, this is blocked. And I was like, oh, oh. So I'd swap back to my writing. And I didn't see, my workflow was much better. I can say that my workflow was way better just because I just, social media is a fucking cancer. Let's be real. Huge distraction. I just cut it out. And it was, that's probably easily the best thing. Easily like the most... I just, I, fe I felt like more focused when I was in my workflow. It wasn't many distractions. So two hours of work was actually two hours of work and it felt good. And then the next thing about this dopamine detox is that when you don't have like, when you can't just, if, you, if, you, if you're done working, you have a little break. I found myself not knowing what to do a little bit. I, I was laying down. I just lay down. My bed just looked up. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? What do I do? And when you don't have that easy stimulation of a, of a short video, something to read, something like that, it makes doing stuff like reading like meditating, like working out. It's just more appealing. It's like, I'd rather be stimulated even if it's challenging, like reading, like working out, like I said, um, than not do anything at all. So 100%, I, could see, I can see how it works in that regard. Because when you don't have access to quick stimulation, is just so, it's just reading feels better. I want to read. I feel more compelled to read. You just, you feel more compelled to do more, like stimulating things that are just m more challenging than playing a video game, opening something like that. So I definitely felt it in that regard. I don't know if that's a chemical change in my brain, but it more just gave me like perspective. Uh, and in another way it gave me perspective because I cut out music. Musing. Yeah, I cut out music. And if you don't know me, I, I last year on Spotify had 100,000 minutes. I did the math. I think it's like 2,000 plus hours, which is one quarter of the year I had music in. Half, a third out sleeping. So like half my life I'm listening to something, right? And oh my God. The next best thing about Dome and Detox was it just, it made me appreciate music so much more. I remember I got through the four days. It was Friday. And I was like, at this point, I was kind of like, I'm basically done with this. It's like, I've gotten what I need out of it. So I went for my walk during the day. It's really sunny at the moment in Australia, really hot. I took my, I had to take my shirt off so I can get a nice, a nice little tan and a melanomas. Um, and just listening to music for the first, after cutting out for four days, four and a half days straight, I was like, holy shit. It gave me such, it just gave me much more of an appreciation for those quick pleasures. That's the next thing the Domi Detox gave me. I just, I felt like I can appreciate all the small things a bit more, you know, just having like a tea and a biscuit with like, um, of a night or something like that, uh, or just even just like watching something or like watching YouTube. I was like, wow, 
I really enjoy this. I should like, it sucks when I have to cut things like that out, when I have to cut music out. But again, I don't know if that's like a chemical change in my brain. It more just gave me perspective rather than, I don't know if my actual dopamine receptors change or anything like that. So I can't speak to that. But no, I think it was actually, actually I should talk about my adherence to it. I can't skip that. I'd say I had like an 85% adherence to it because on Tuesday night, when I was in the full swing of it, if you guys know the Misfits, uh, their manager, Ryan, was like, you should play CSGO with, with us. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to say no to that, except I almost did say no because I was really trying to be strict with it. But then I ended up, so I played like an hour and a half of CSGO with some guys from the Misfits, which was really fun. So I didn't hear there. Uh, and by like day, I think Thursday, when it was Thursday, and I've been playing Spy for three hours a day. And let's just say it's been 84 days and I don't like playing Spy for three hours a day. It drives me fucking insane. I get really angry. So on the third day, because I was in silence the first two days, on the third day, I was like, no, no. And I got a voice call when I did my three hours of spy. So I didn't adhere there. Um, but that was, that was it. There was a few other, there's probably some few other moments I'm, I can't remember. I've honestly sort of moved past at this point. <laughs> but no, it was it was like a good experience. I don't. It, it's kind of taught me a lot. It's made me, I was talking to some friends about this earlier, actually. It's made me realize like, this kind of doesn't seem related. And it sort of isn't. But I've just kind of realized with my workflow and how I work, I really want to, I really want a weekend back. I've realized that with my life and how I work. It's just day after day after day after day of repetition, which isn't innately a bad thing. But I just, I miss when I was at school or when I was working pizza delivery or something and you'd get to Friday night and Friday night's like, oh, I've progressed through the week. You know, you, you have that sense of progression to the, through the Friday and it's done. And then from there, you can relax through to Sunday until it's Monday again. And I haven't had that in four years now since I was in high school, basically. And I just think I need a greater sense of like progression of a week. Um, and that's, that's just like I just thought about my dopamine detox. I was like, you know, relaxing time is really important. Refreshing is really important. I think I need to be more, even more, give myself more of it. So I'm thinking I might start just not, I think I might like put myself on a nine to five, basically, of like working Monday through Friday and on a Friday night, just forgetting it all uh, and giving kind of structure in that way. That's, 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 it doesn't seem related. I don't know if it even is, but that's something I thought about my domain detox and I brought up with my friends. That's something I'm going to look to add. So on a Saturday and Sunday, I won't work or I, or I won't work. I won't do like important work. I might just like edit a video because I just enjoy editing videos, but I won't write. I won't, nothing like that. So that's another, that's another thing I kind of learned a takeaway. But I guess the biggest thing is just kind of gave me more of appreciation for the small pleasures, the small things, the small, the quick dopamine releases, right? And it's given me a good, really good perspective change on that. It's just made me appreciate things like music more. Like just, I used to just, it was just automatic. It's like, I am going for a walk. I will listen to music now. But I was like, no, I'm going to be conscious about it. And the first song I listened to, Gospel for a New Century by Eve Tumor. Oh, do you know how good that was? Do you know how happy I was listening to that song? I hadn't listened to anything for four and a half days straight. And the second I put it in, I was like, Ugh. so that made me very happy. I enjoyed that. Uh, and just give me a bigger appreciation for the domain things. I'd honestly recommend it. I would, I'd recommend it because it's really, it, fuck, it was really tough. Really tough, actually. There were points where I was just like, what do I do? I was like, I didn't even want to work at some point. So I was like, I just need to like lay down or something. Still was an interesting experience. I don't know if any of the neurochemistry, it, it probably is pseudoscience. But what I can 100% say is it just gives you a greater sense of, pers ugh, a greater sense of perspective. And I think that is really valuable. Makes you appreciate things more. Makes you realize how important balance is. And stuff like that. That's what I took out of it, at least. But moving forward, there are I want to I want to move some things in. Um, the first thing I want to take in moving forward is just limiting social media. Like fucking, oh, social media is just the worst. All of it. Instagram, horrible. Uh, all of it just wastes your time. It doesn't give you any value other than like a quick laugh here or there, or an entertaining video. Um, so for the most part, I want to when I'm working through the day, I want to try and cut out social media. I think that was like the best thing that I got from it. Um, the second thing is I might like I walk two to three times a day I think I might start just one of my walks I might just fully cut out music just to have silence because it was weird I noticed when I was walking Mackie I'd notice her little little, little pause pitter patter more I noticed that, you know you just hear more of the birds and shit the more the, the the birds the birds the birds no yeah the birds you just hear the sounds of like the sun beaming as well and shit like that and um it was nice it's kind of nice like refreshing you just kind of have like a moment of peace so I might try and implement that but yeah, I think it was the two things I'll, I think I'm going to take moving forward through it. Um, yeah, I think it was a valuable experience. I don't know if I, again, I had like an 85% adherence, I'd say, to it. It was tough, but I think it gives you a good good perspective shift. So if you're thinking about it, maybe give it a go. I think you can only benefit from cutting out things like social media and junk food and 
any quick dopamine for a bit just to give you a sense of like perspective. That's why I keep saying perspective, perspective, perspective. It just, you appreciate the things more. You know what they say? What? I, I literally quote this lyric in like a video one or two weeks ago. I, the passenger lyric was like, you only know the light when it starts to be dark. You only miss the, the road when you're missing home. You only hate the road when you're missing home. You only know your lover when you let it go. It's like that. It's like you only, well, until you don't have these things and you, you, you officially just cut them out for a bit. I don't think you can, you, you just grow a greater appreciation for them. So I think in that sense, it's valuable. I don't know about the science behind it. If my dopamine receptors are refreshed, that's probably bullshit. I don't know, but I can tell you, I can tell you that I just appreciate all the small things a lot more. And for me, I think that's worth, that's a really worthy lesson for four and a half days of adherence to a dopamine detox. So that's what I'm taking from it. Cutting out social media a bit more, just because social media is a fucking cancer. Everyone knows, every, like you know it, you know social media sucks. I'm going to do, I need to do my video on TikTok soon. Someone remind me about that. In the next few weeks, I'm going to do a fucking, just get off TikTok, please. Get off YouTube Reels, Instagram Shorts. In, you, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels. Short form content's a cancer that's actually running your brain. I'm going to do a video on that. Social media sucks, we all know it. So it's just reminding me to just fucking not use social media. It's a distraction, it sucks. Um, and it's just giving me a greater appreciation for those quick dopamine, the quick, the quick pleasures, the nice things in life, a greater appreciation and a different perspective on it. That's everything my de de uh, dopamine detox taught me. Uh, it was hard. It was really challenging, but it was definitely worth it. I'd recommend it giving it just in some capacity, just limiting, maybe cutting off something for a day or two or three. Uh, and just see, see, just see the appreciation you have for it. I was just walking there in the morning. was just like, I wish I had my AirPods to listen to music. So in that sense, I think it was really valuable, but that's just my opinion. You know me, I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, so <laughs> take from it what you will. But that's what I got out of my dopamine detox. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you're doing well. This is another one in person. Uh, I didn't have a shower or anything, by the way. I probably look like a fucking mess. But I need to get these out. I'm stuck every Sunday. I've put out a video and we're not fucking changing that for a second. I'm getting a video. My other goals are kind of shaky right now. But I'm getting a video out every Sunday on this channel. Okay? You can count on it. So I'll leave it there. I hope you're doing well. And you know the drill. Farewell, elite level gamer. And then the...